A linear array transducer with a musculoskeletal exam type is used to perform an ultrasound examination of a trigger finger at the A1 pulley. The patient is placed in a sitting position with the hand placed palm up on a comfortable surface with the fingers extended. The transducer is placed in a longitudinal fashion at the metacarpal phalangeal joint space with the orientation marker directed toward the patient's head. A generous amount of gel is used to ensure transducer contact with the irregular dorsal surface of the finger. The metacarpal and proximal phalanx are seen as bright, hyperechoic, curved surfaces. A thin, dark, hypoechoic articular cartilage can be seen overlying the bony surface of the distal metacarpal head. The fibrillar patterned flexor tendon can be seen directly under the surface of the skin that slides back and forth with finger flexion and extension. The transducer is then rotated to a transverse orientation of the flexor tendon, which will give a long axis view of the A1 pulley. The A1 pulley can be seen on either side of the metacarpal phalangeal joint, keeping the flexor tendon secured firmly to the undersurface of the metacarpal phalangeal joint. The darker, hypoechoic shadows of the A1 pulley can be seen as vertical, dark, hypoechoic, or anechoic densities on each side of the transverse flexor tendon. The superior superficial surface of the A1 pulley is somewhat reflective as the echoes are 90 degrees to the top surface of the A1 pulley. The most common orientation for flexor tendon sheath beneath the A1 pulley is a transverse orientation with the needle placed between the flexor tendon and the A1 pulley, taking careful interest to avoid the digital nerve and digital artery located on each side.